It's the time of the season for loving. The seasons are going fast, sir. It is uh, Saturday afternoon, August the 17th, 2013. Uh. Uh. Eh. And another week has flown by, as usual. Let me. You know what? Come on. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Greetings, everyone, and welcome once again. Uh, yes, it is that time. W welcome to Progressive Discussions. I am your host for Progressive Discussions, James P. Madonna of Mega Life 21, the hardest hitting internet talk radio station on the planet. Ugh. Excuse me, my, my short little pop popped out. Nice. Oh, that feels nice, right? Oh man, if you ever if you ever have pain in your shoulders, this is a great way to stretch it. Either one. Anyway, where was I? Okay, welcome to Progressive Discussions. Uh, we are coming to you from the uh, Newsletter Censored Research Center in Northeastern New Jersey, and I will now officially pipe aboard my co-host and mentor and the very founder of Newsletter Censored which is the backbone of our organization I will pipe him aboard our progressive liberal starship with my authentic bosun's whistle oh by the way this is an authentic deer antler that is very formidable mm. if one gets hit with it it's a legal, it's a legal baton. There's no law that says you can't carry a deer antler or a shillelagh, which happens to be at home. Hey, now. There's no law that uh, you can't carry an AK-47. Really? Yeah. In some states, you mean? What do you mean, really? In some states. Anywhere. Really? You didn't, didn't you see the guy at the uh, you can carry? Obama rally? You can carry with the AK-47 step on. But you're allowed. I thought you need a permit to carry. You need a permit. permit, yeah, but you can carry. Oh, you out can, in public. You can carry an assault weapon. Uh huh. So the permit has to do with any firearms. Mm hmm. Well, maybe not a bazooka. What about a, a, a rocket? The, or a rocket the propelled rocket launcher, grenade? You know? Or, yeah, the yeah, uh, the a one stinger that, missile. The one that you could shoot from your shoulder, yeah. like it looks like a bazooka. Stinger. You can't you can't get a permit to carry that. Could you picture uh, road rage taking place on some, somebody sticking that out the window? <laughs> you know having what? Having it in their car like James Bond. Let me tell you the something. Missiles. When when the feather when temper rises and the feathers fly, people will use those weapons if they are available. Yeah, that's what. Uh, talking, talking that's about? what uh, Gunsmoke uh, uh, James Arness knew. The hotheads. That's why he wanted to check your gun at the saloon. The hotheads with the firearms. Poker and booze and guns do not mix. Why, James Arness played Wyatt Earp? No, Gunsmoke. Gunsmoke, but Wyatt Earp did he, that he too. He didn't want his kitty getting hurt. But didn't Wyatt Earp do that at Dodge, yes, C yes, Dodge, Dodge City? Dodge City or whatever, Tombstone or whatever the hell it Dodge was. Dodge City. Was Dodge City in Kansas? Dodge City, Kansas sounds good. I'm not Sounds sure. Good. Anyway, dead, uh, dead, dead, dead. Deadwood was, dead in, uh, was in North or South Dakota. South Dakota. Okay. South Dakota. Deadwood, South Dakota, I think. Or was it North Dakota? So now, one South those, Dakota sounds more like it because that's Indian country. Well, it was in South country. Dakota. I think is mountainous, and North Dakota is flat. I always thought Mount Rushmore was in North Dakota. South Dakota. Now, what about the Sioux Indians? They're in both, perhaps. No, the Sioux Indians are on Wall Street. Sioux. S oh, as in lawsuit? <laughs> no, I meant I meant like like. Uh, hey, sit, ring the bells, damn it! Chief Sitting Bull. Chief Sitting Bull. Man. Welcome aboard the uh, Progressive Liberal Starship. 
the one and only, the Reverend Dr. William J. Eisen. Wormhole ahead! Wormhole ahead. Well, that's how. That's the shortcut to get to the other side of the galaxy. The other quadrant, yeah. Or, or to space travel, period. That's, those are all shortcuts. But anyway, welcome aboard. How are you feeling this week? Uh, not so good about the end of the month shooting up here. That's for sure. Yeah, I was singing at times of the seasons because summer is coming to a close and the, ah. se the seasons fly by fast, unfortunately, just like the months and the years. And uh, what did Ed Norton say on the Honeymooners? Time and tide wait for no man. Hey, by the way, I just read something in, uh, I believe it was uh, Time Magazine. Yeah. Uh, some, uh, or parade or some, something. Somebody asked a question oh, yeah. about like uh, uh, some shows that um, did not do well when they were first put on to primetime TV. Really? But in syndication they took off like hell. And the two shows that they mentioned Honeymoon. were Star Trek and The Honeymoon. So they were, they were much greater as reruns than they were when they were battling on the main primetime TV. They had a time, I know um, when The Honeymooners was a weekly show, I Love Lucy was, 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 the kick, top, 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 was top. kicking the crap out of The Honeymooners in the ratings and I, I always found Lucille Ball to be very annoying. Poor, poor Desi Arnaz. Uh, but anyway, uh, yeah, so Honeymooners um, were canceled because of I Love Lucy, I believe. Mm -hmm. But right. then the Honeymooners became legendary in well, syndication. Yeah, syndication, same thing with Star Trek. Mm -hmm. yeah. See, that's another example, like when we always talk about politics and the system that has to change and stuff. What happens every single day? Let's say, say in the music industry. Yeah. There are songs that come up every single day. <coughs> And if they're not part of the uh, mainstream mm -hmm. or lame stream, lame stream, you ain't going to hear them. No. And they're not going to go anywhere. Yep. And etc. And that's not right. Everything no. the listener or whatever he is should get a shot at. And then if you don't like it, can it? Well, there's got to be some listen, way. Just because somebody says no to you or you get canceled or you think you failed and you think well my career is over <laughs> it's really not over until the fat lady sings yeah look at Regis Philbin what about him what about him he just keeps going on and on and on his career's never over he's got a new show now hey I saw Don Rickles he don't need a new show. I saw Don Rickles on the David Letterman show, and he is still as alert and quick, it, and, it, and his yeah. jokes are still as applicable, applicable, and 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 hard hitting and and uh, sarcastic as ever. Mm. Don Rickles has not lost anything, mm. and he's like ancient. Mm. You know, I mean, uh, well, well, just getting back to what he said about the. Uh, the Honeymooners in Star Trek coming back uh, and becoming legendary in syndication. I mean, uh, what the Willi I think it was the William Morris Agency, I could be wrong, but when Arnold Schwarzenegger retired retired from bodybuilding um, after he won his like seventh or eighth Mr. Olympia. Mr. Olympia, Mr. Olympia contest, seven or eight, uh, he went to the agency, the top agency, and they told him you have a funny voice, you have a funny name, forget about acting, don't even try, forget about it. So this inspired him, being that Arnold is Go a, sell apples on the street. He's a Leo and he's de very determined and he has an ego, he decided, I'm going to make it anyway. Yeah. And he did. So he became the Terminator. He became the Terminator, the Terminator. I'll but, be back. I'll be back and, and Conan the Barbarian, oh, yeah, Conan, Conan the Barbarian, don't forget about that. Oh, yeah. And don't forget about Mildred Pena, the housekeeper. And don't forget about that, uh, what was that stupid show Come. with, with DeVito? Where he were uh, with the kids. Uh, he was pregnant? Yeah, the Twins? Something like that. Yeah, I think that was... That was a movie. Oh, and then he God. says uh, he must, they must have paid him a lot to, to be in oh, drag. Boy. He was in drag, Arnold, and he was pregnant. 
you know, and uh, yeah, he said to uh, Mildred, come into my bedroom, uh, uh, Maria Schreiber, she went bye-bye, she no here no more, she went bye-bye, come into my bedroom, Mildred. Anyway, see, it's never really over because people tell you negative things, you know, I mean, uh, not everybody that has a top position, Reverend Bill, is necessarily competent or qualified. No one is an expert. To hold that. Just like economists. Ex except you as truly and then Dr. Bill. Okay. Thank you very much. hi -o. Hold on. The levity bells. Right. Ah, me levity bells. And believe it or not, those levity bells, before you know it, will be in season, unfortunately. Oh, do I dread chopping ice and digging my car out out of the snow? Oh. Anyway, let me let me read the uh, let me do some Chisler's Hall of Shame. Okay. Um, all right, this is interesting, and I, and I know after I read this, you want to mention something of interest. Possibly, possibly. of interest. All right, McDonald's. Oh boy. Pays their employees with Chase debit cards. Ah. JP Morgan Chase debit cards. Yeah, I said the same thing when I began to read it. These debit cards include a $1.50 ATM charge, a $5 charge for cash withdrawal. A one dollar charge per balance inquiry fee, and seventy-five cents for online bill payment. Oh my God! J.P. Morgan Chase McDonald's Finance—that's what they call it. Oh yeah. Profits handsomely from that. No good. Any questions? Interesting. No, how they have the how thing. they have that rigged up for the poor. McDonald's employees that make so much money. Hey, a guy just uh, 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 a politician. Yeah. Just said, "Oh my God, we cannot give McDonald's uh, 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 workers a uh, 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 raise or uh, 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 cannot a better a better minimum. Oh yeah, because so, a better minimum wage. So they went on strike. It will raise the price of a Mac, a Big Mac by four hundred percent. Bullshit. Lies. Lies." Lies, lies. The more oh. you pay your workers, as Henry Ford showed way back when, the more they buy your products, the more you sell, the more demand you have, and the bigger you grow. And the more bingo, and the more money you put in the pocket of the little guy who are the true consumers in America, the more money they put back into the United States economy That's and correct. thus stimulate it. That's correct. The more money How you, many refrigerators can the rich buy? Not many. Not many. How many yachts, uh, how many yachts are sold, really? Yeah. <laughs> now, the more money you suck out of the wallets of the little guy, uh -huh. the less the, the economy is stimulated and it eventually is hurt. We're doing that right now. Plus outsourcing of jobs, plus the rich not paying any taxes. And there's some kind of a law that was passed. I don't know if it was the, the Republican Congress or if it was Obama himself, but it has to do with offshore um, bank accounts like Swiss bank accounts that have to disclose information, all information to the IRS of the United States concerning fat cats that have Swiss bank accounts. Uh -huh. There's some kind of disclosure law where it forces the countries that have the the bank accounts of you sure corporations. You sure that went into effect because after 911, yeah. one of the things that the Bush administration could have done was to track track the terrorist money and they didn't do it and you know why they didn't do it why because it would interfere with our tax cheats 
Well, these people, Bingo. these people that have these Swiss bank accounts and whatever, wherever, these are the, um, and I quote, crooks. I quote, these are the patriotic job creators. <laughs> Spelled C-R-O-O-K-S. Crooks. Patriotic you. job creators that your Republican politicians tell you so much about. The ones that have their money and their, their, uh, Mailboxes, addresses. The Cayman Islands. Yeah, overseas. Subsidiaries. Oh, we make more money down there than we do over here in so, the United States. So they're, so pa they're patriotic for not paying taxes in this country, and they're patriotic for outsourcing your jobs overseas, and they call themselves patriots. And they're patriots for wanting to destroy the United States government. And my God, they are not coy about it. No, they're they not, they're not koi, they're not carp, they're not goldfish about it. <laughs> but, you know, and, and plus, on top of all that, they they call themselves real Christians. Oh, boy. Thank they, you for bringing up Christians. I wanted to mention something here as an aside. There's a case going on, and I don't know what state it is, it's in. I just checked, I just saw it on the news or whatever. A judge in this state, a family wants to call their kid Messiah. Messiah. On the birth certificate. Messiah. The judge says, no, you cannot do that. That is a title that was earned by only one person, and Jesus Christ. So you can't use it. Okay. My question to you is this. Um, in Hebrew, exactly what does the word Messiah mean? Messiah does not mean Jesus. Jesus per se. Jesus was the Messiah. A Messiah. Now Christ. But he was unrecognized as the Messiah right, by like, the Pharisees and the Sadducees. Well, like the word Christ doesn't mean Je Jesus doesn't have a monopoly on the word Christ. It kind of means king, right? No, Christ means a sacrifice, if I'm not mistaken. But but Messiah Jesus the Christ. Right. Now Christ. Messiah must have a must have a meaning before Jesus was even born. Must have been in, in the in the yes. Hebrew in the Hebrew language. Yes, it was. So it's not really you're not you're not connecting your child to Jesus right. by using the word in a sense. Uh, Messiah, uh, hey, Christ. How many Spanish people are born with the name uh, Jesus? See, the, I, I feel se I'm sensitive about that. I, I don't think that's good. Or the Jesus. De Jesus. De Jesus. That probably means like of Jesus, of Jesus, or. I don't know, but I'm de, just saying. De. I'm just throwing it out there. We have a lot of them people. You know. They pronounce it that way, um, or in, uh, in, in or, or, or Arabs with Muhammad. They use his name too, but he was just a, a prophet. He was a man. He was not a prophet. He was a man. Wait a minute! I have to stop you for a second. The archangel Gabriel met with him, Moroni, more than one, more than once. Oh wait, Moroni was the uh, 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 no. In the Arabs. Moroni was uh, the, uh, the the Mormons. The uh, the the um, the Muslims call Gabriel Jibril, Jibril. Yeah. It's the same archangel. He he gave if he, he to. spoke to Muhammad, and then the uh, the great Caliph. You told me destroyed or burned all the original. The third Caliph. The third Caliph. Uthman. Uthman destroyed the original the point of that uh, uh, um, communications between Jabril, the archangel, which is Gabriel, and Uthman destroyed Muhammad all original copies of the Quran. Besides, yeah. Not besides, he destroyed every one except his version. Uh, and today, uh, that's wait, all you have. Wait a minute. Doesn't this sound similar to what the Republicans want to do? about rewriting the Bible? Of course. Isn't it very similar? Of course. In intention? You're getting their idea of that. Yeah, but that's not the point. When you're dealing with uh, Islam, 
Islam with Muhammad came around in the 600s, right. the early 600s. So, theoretically, then, for all the time, up to 600, there was no knowledge of Allah. Allah, before that, was the moon goddess. Well, you had um, you had the religion of Babylon, and then you had. What does that uh, have to do with Islam? Well, I'm, I'm looking at the region. Then you yeah. had Zoroasterism in Persia. Yeah. Well, you know, what does that have to do with Islam? It's I'm, ta I'm talking about the region which where they came from. Yes, we're it is talking, the same region, sir. Well, we're talking about the fact, just as in Greek and Roman and uh, 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 India and etc. All of these gods were figments of people's imagination. That's why they, they did not exist. So that's why they call them pagan. They do not exist today. Pagan. Greek mythology, Zeus, on Mount Olympus, and uh, Aphrodite, and uh, Poseidon, and all of them. I, all I, of them. Actually, there was um, there was a funny uh, post, a banner on Facebook that says, "Next time you do something stupid, uh -oh. remember that the Emperor Caligula." sent his army to the sea and they, and, and they were stabbing the, the water with their spears because Caligula weighed, uh, declared war on Neptune. <laughs> so the next time you do something stupid, think of the Emperor Caligula. Well, that's the whole point. The whole point is that these gods and the institutions that grew up around them Demigods and the and people who gave their lives to them, their yeah. minds, etc., these were figments of people's imagination. They were not real. You know, Hindu has many, many, many. 30 million. Huh? 30 you million. You mean gods, gods, goddesses, and demigods? And demigods, and etc. Okay? It's about time we start looking at these things with a open mind and a mind that can actually learn things. Question everything, my friends. Question everything. Be a free, independent. Uh, stay I'm sorry. thirsty, my friends. And stay thirsty, my friends. This is medicinal tea. <laughs> this is not the the stuff that the Saint Bernard had in the in the barrel under his the neck. The point is, getting back the Messiah. Yeah. The judge has no business sticking her stinking mouth and nose, Pinocchio nose. into what a people want to name their child and she will lose the case because it is against the First Amendment etc. Okay? Sounds like a form of fascism to me. It's a form of republicanism. They believe that they are doing God's work. Okay? okay. And they are bringing this... You know what was up in her office? The judge's office? On the wall? What? The Ten Commandments. Yeah, but nobody has been able to keep the Ten Commandments. That's the law. That's what they call the law. Yeah, but the point of man, it is, man these, people, failed. these yeah. people keep the Ten Commandments, like that guy Moore and all these religious nuts. They put the Ten Commandments up there as a, as an arrogant or a, a look at me. Oh. Like praying in public like the Pharisees did. Why, why don't these conservatives and uh, why don't they worry about their own salvation because they have a lot to worry about yeah they have to worry about the fact that they got the wrong god what about wasting their time and what about and all the heart. all the horrible unchristian things that they really do well that's an example of the fact if you got the wrong god you're what you do in his name is going to be wrong well if you got the wrong god what you're doing is not godly yeah, exactly. and it's not, and it's not the, it's not of the God of the Bible. Bingo. So it might be the other guy. Bingo. But yet they want to enforce it, don't they? They want to make it into law, don't they? I think, I think it's all about just pure selfish power, uh, lust for it's power. It's about control. Control. Yeah. That's it. It's always been about control. Religion has always been about control. They want to control your mind. They, and this is they want why. To control what you do. And this is why many. Uh, prominent people today that tend to be progressive uh, have uh, have disdain towards organized religion. 
like Jesse Ventura is not a fan of organized religion. As well one should, because it's all garbage. Mark 7, verses 7 through 8 and 9. You make me of no effect through your traditions. That's what Jesus said. They're not worshiping God or Jesus or whatever. Right. They're worshiping their traditions. Yep. What they've grown up with. The Christmas tree, the Easter bunny, etc. The, 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 the last days, the, the second, the first day, excuse me, one of those days. The first day Sabbath. The mark of the beast, etc. You got all these things wrong, and they, think, and they want to foist them on you. Just like Catholics think that the uh, traditions and rules of the church, you know, like saying Hail Mary with a rosary be, they, they, they think that, that's, that everything from the Catholic Church is coming direct from God, and that's the only way. You know what I mean? It's like uh, they, they don't know the history. They believe that their church was based on uh, the rock, Peter. The apostle, yeah, but it was not. It was based on Simon Magus, the sorcerer, and a lot of traditions. Babylonian mystery religion. Babylonian. You, you didn't say abalone. That's, that's Babylonian. A, that's a clam. That's, that's no. That's not a clam. That's a uh, what do you call it? It's a it's a shellfish. Shellfish. Yeah, but uh, it looks like conch. a clam. A conch. No, that's ah, different. Conch is different. I'm holding a conch up of my ear what right about now. The, I can never blow. I hear the sea. I can never blow the Triton's trumpet. You know what sounds like that too? The shofar. The Israelites had the ram's horn. Ram's horn, and, and they trumpet. call it a, a shofar. Shofar. And the oh. trumpet was used for battle. Battle. It's a battle horn, right? When they blow the trump. What about when they go hunting? They, they say, is, is it a form of tally ho? Like the British going fox hunting? <laughs> or like the Duck Dynasty. Quack, quack. Quack. They, have the, quack. they had dogs, they run out and get the, the ducks. Quack. Bring them back. Well, usually hunting for Boyds. I'm sorry if we are jumping around to yeah, different yeah, subjects. Yeah, yeah, this, yeah, it, they, remember, hey. this is a uncensored, unpredictable show. Okay, and un very uncensored. Yeah, they uh, the ducks. Uh, uh, when you hunt for boids, otherwise known as birds, you you usually flush them out with with pooches. And Al Silas on the uh, Duck Dynasty, the show, his dog wouldn't go out there and get the duck. Wouldn't flush the duck. Wouldn't, wouldn't flush the duck out. And that duck was out of luck too. Yeah. So he got a poodle, and the poodle worked out. So everybody else was making fun of his dog, though, the poodle. Don't make fun of the poodle when it comes to hunting. The poodle was originally a hunting dog in Germany. Sure. Poodle, a poodle is, I think, second in intelligence to the border collie. 